We're entering the Serum Institute of India's Biopharma Park, where new buildings house the manufacturing operations of Menafrivac, the conjugate vaccine that protects against the Group A meningococcus. Here are the plans for Building 9, where the vaccine is manufactured from two principal raw materials, the polysaccharide of the Neisseria meningitidis A bacterium and tetanus toxoid. Conjugation consists in chemically linking the tetanus toxoid to the polysaccharide to obtain a highly effective conjugate vaccine. The manufacture of the vaccine begins in the preparation unit, where the equipment is washed, dried, packaged and then placed in an autoclave, a hermetically sealed device that sterilizes the material through high temperature steam. Once the equipment has been sterilized, the technicians prepare the two raw materials that make up the conjugate vaccine. For the polysaccharide A, the first task is to mix the powders used to prepare the liquid culture media. Portions of the meningitis strain stored at minus 80 degrees Celsius are taken and the bacteria are grown in several stages, starting from an ampoule of the vaccine strain to a small flask, a larger flask, a medium-sized fermenter of 50 litres and finally an industrial fermenter of 1,200 litres. The final product from the industrial fermenter should be sufficient for about 2 million doses of vaccine. All of these operations are carried out at 37 degrees Celsius and all steps are carefully monitored. After the bacteria are killed, the culture material is centrifuged to separate the supernatant, where the dissolved polysaccharide is found, from the bacteria cells. The final polysaccharide is obtained through a process of clarification, concentration and purification. Tetanus toxoid, the second raw material used to make the conjugate vaccine, is produced in a similar process. The conjugation is carried out in closed circuit tanks. The formulation is the last step in the vaccine manufacturing process. It involves mixing the conjugate with an excipient that contains a preservative to obtain a bulk vaccine with long-term stability. We are now entering the quality control laboratory. Quality control checks are carried out at each stage of the manufacturing process to ensure that high standards of quality and quantity are met. Several tests, like this one, are performed to check the purity of the end product. Most of the technicians have been trained at Pune University and are highly qualified. All quality control data are kept at least as long as the shelf life of the vaccine. The bulk vaccine, in a bag, is weighed and then transferred to the filling unit. Here are the vials that will contain the vaccine. They are transferred to a conveyor belt leading to an automated washing machine. The vials are individually washed with hot water, then rinsed with a specially prepared water called WFI, or water for injection. The vials are turned upside down and dried with filtered and sterilized air to eliminate all the drops of water remaining inside. They are then transported to a sterilizing tunnel. All of these machines are monitored continuously. This machine shows that the vials are heated at 300 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes to allow total sterilization. After sterilization, the vials are cooled and transported to the filling station. The vaccine is filtered one last time to guarantee it is sterile before being placed in the vials. We now come to the filling machine, which can fill 400 vials per minute or 24,000 vials an hour. Inspections are performed every 15 minutes to ensure that the volume is the same in all the vials. These are the needles that fill the vaccine vials 12 at a time. The placing of the cap on the vial is also automated. The cap is only closed halfway to allow the evaporation of ice during freeze drying. The half closed vials are placed on trays on a trolley which takes them to a freeze dryer. This apparatus can hold about 90,000 vials or 900,000 doses of vaccine. The lyophilization machine or freeze dryer is then closed to begin operation.
Freeze drying consists of three stages, the freezing of the vials, the sublimation during which the frozen vaccine is evaporated under vacuum, and then final drying. At the end of the lyophilization process, the vials are fully closed through the compression of the shelves. Once the vials have been completely closed, the shelves are raised so that the vaccine trails can be transferred to the capping machine. Each vial is then sealed with an aluminum cap, upon which is fixed another small white cap that provides a means of checking that the vial has not been used. The vials are then transferred to a visual control checkpoint, a well-lit area where checks are made to ensure that all vials appear exactly as they should. All the operators have been specially trained, enabling them to detect defects that an untrained eye would not see. Any vial with a defect, however minor, is removed from the vaccine batch. In parallel, the diluents are manufactured and placed in ampoules. The same visual controls are applied to the diluents, with the material then stored in huge cold rooms at a temperature between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. We're now in the labelling room, where all vials of both vaccine and diluent are labelled with their batch number and expiry date. The vials are then transferred to a machine that attaches a vaccine vial monitor, or VVM, to them. The VVM monitor shows whether the vaccine has been maintained at the correct temperature in the cold chain right up until the point of use. The vials are then packaged and labelled. The boxes of vaccines are stored in a cold room at a temperature between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the cold rooms is monitored continuously. When it's time for the vaccines to be shipped, they're transferred to the packing room. Here they're packed in polystyrene boxes filled with ice packs that maintain the temperature between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius for the duration of the journey from the Serum Institute of India to Africa. The polystyrene also protects the vaccines from damage during the trip. After final packing in a protective plastic bag, the boxes of vaccines are loaded for transportation to Mumbai Airport. This convoy of trucks leaving the business park is on its way to the airport, where the vaccines will be loaded onto planes bound for Africa. Production and control operations for the Menafrivac vaccine at the Serum Institute of India are carried out in accordance with good manufacturing practices, an international standard that guarantees the quality of pharmaceutical products. The marketing authorization for Menafrivac was issued by the National Regulatory Authority of India in December 2009. Pre-qualification by the World Health Organization followed in June 2010. Pre-qualification is a process that guarantees that a vaccine meets international standards of quality, safety and efficacy. Hey!